hello guys you are welcome back to my channel in this today's tutorial i'm going to show you how you can move a website from one name chip hosting plan to another name chip hosting plan now if you can check this plan i have this uh, hosting plan which almost expired it expired around august 16 and today is august 20 so i still have access to my C panel before it's totally terminated now but i have another hosting here if you check here you will see another hosting uh where is it you see another hosting uh which i want to move my site to you see this hosting this is another hosting this one is going to expire next year now the, the website that is here on this uh hosting that is about to expire is here this is a bike cargo trailer.com now let me let's let me show you the two uh, panel now this is the C panel for the two accounts this is for the one that's about to expire which comprise the site i want to move to this uh smm dam hosting so the one that about to expire is clickbooster.net but it's not the domain the domain here is a by cargo trailer but the hosting here is this is the domain that's attached to the uh hosting now i want to move the site from here to here now the first thing you have to do you have to log into this your dashboard now i'll be i'm going to move to the uh root files of the one that the site i want to move now let me click click on that file manager sorry for my network yeah on this file manager so i have to do on this site i have many domains do have moved most of them but the one i want to move it is this uh, bike cargo trailer.com so now this is the site i want to move now what you have to do right click on it and click on compress so when you click compress mark and zip and click compress when you do that it will take some time and it will it will be compressed Uh, let me quickly skip it the time is taken to compress um now i think it has finished compressed now this is the compress this is the ship file for the site where is it let me the ship file is not shown yet okay let's quickly redo it again uh, where is it by cargo trailer compress into ship compress file <laughs> now if you check here now we have the ship file it has ship the website file so the next thing we have to do we have to download it so we have to download this out so it depends on the uh, our internet speed so just click on download so and after it now the file has successfully download so now what you have to do now we have to go back to the our target hosting where we want to move our website to this is the hosting i want to move the site to so the first thing here you have to do i have to come to file manager again then i have to upload the download zip file of the file we want to move this is my root folder so what i have to do now i have to upload so when i upload you click select then you come and select the file we download that zip file for the site we want to move the our website file that's bike cargo trailer then you upload it will take some time to to upload so because of this tutorial i skip this site so that i will just wait for some time so that the file has been uploaded that's why it show this one now after it has finished successful upload you will see the file here this is the file it has been uploaded to the 
to the to the our target website so the next thing you have to do here is that after you upload the file so you come to the old uh you close this site you come to the uh to the old website to the old hosting this is the old hosting so uh, what you have to do because this site is a wordpress website so you have to click on this wordpress so this is a wordpress website now um if you can see here there are some sites too but our target is this back cargo trailer what i want to do here now is i want to export the um database so just click edit details so for me to know the database it's used for the for the site now the database is a uh, wp373 so here now what i will do here is that i will go back to my cpanel home page for the old website so now i will just come directly to the uh, my database php my admin i'll open it in new tab so i'll wait for it to load then now since i've known the database that the site used which is wp373 now i have to look for the database here let's wait for it to load now this is the database for it is it 373 do you have anything relating to here no there's nothing like 373 and then let me go back to the to this place which is uh let me check again okay no 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 it's not for this hosting there's a mistake it's not for this hosting i'm checking for new hosting now the our hosting for the old hosting is this premium 117 our new target one is prem premium 205 now this is the old hosting i mistakenly click on on it now you just come here to go to our php my admin so when you come to check our php my admin definitely we will have to see this uh, we put 373 here on our old hosting now yeah you can see it here what price 373 now this is the database for the website now what you will have to do now you have to export it so click on this export and then you just click go leave it as sql so it will download the database for the for the our site now when you download this database successfully the next thing is to connect uh, the two account together but after it finish let's wait for it to download let's wait for it to download finish now if you check here this is the old domain just come to this add-on domain you have to remove the domain first before you add it to your new host website now me for my own if the my, my own i added it under add-on domains maybe your own you may not it may not be on an add-on domains it may be on the um, main hosting domain so if your own cases like that you have to chat your name chip customer support to remove it for you but my own is under add-on domains because the my hosting plan is a, a stellar plus so i have to remove it first let me copy the link so that i can able to go and add it to my new hosting it must be successfully removed before you add it to your new hosting now it has removed now let me close this place now let me go back to my um new hosting now under this new hosting because this is not the main hosting i have to add it through add-on domain so now when i click on add-on domain so what you have to do you have to put the domain 
then you click on add yeah you can see here it show um some remote server error so i have to go and fix this because the domain is not registered on namecheap it is registered on godaddy so i have to go and quickly fix this one but for your own case it may just add it directly so let me just quickly go to my godaddy account under name, name. now that uh, we successfully added the domain here now um what the next thing here is that let me go back to the control panel here so that you can see now before you um before you proceed now remember we are dealing with uh, wordpress website now come to this file manager of our new domain now this is the domain we had our new hosting now uh the file we uploaded we upload to the new hosting which is this one we have to export it we have to extract it sorry so you have to extract the file so you have to wait and extract the file now it has finished extracting now let me go and look for the folder now inside the folder now i believe you should extract inside this folder now now that it's extracted here the next thing you will do here is that um there is you don't need to tamper anything you don't need to open the file so just come come back to your own page let's go and install wordpress inside it just click on wordpress So when you click on WordPress, um, um, what you have to do here is that you have to uh, install new WordPress. So, but before that, remember the uh, database that we downloaded here. This is the database. Just let, let me just open it. So when the database is being opened now here you know we want to install the site to the bike cargo trailer so now you choose bike cargo trailer and then um do we didn't find uh, ssl certificate inside it uh, but if you can do this one later or you come to your dashboard to install the ssl certificate but can do it later now this one just leave it like this but what is important here is uh, uh let me check it here let me is this wpbu which is the prefix wpbu this is our host where we export the database but i want to i want to it's loading i want to copy something now let me find something wpbu control f control f wpbu now you see this wpbu is the prefix just copy this prefix because we want after we import our database we want it to tally with the prefix of the database we export now come back here where you are installing your uh wordpress here on this advance just click on this advance now this table prefix now remove this one and paste the one that we copy from our exported database after doing this now the next thing here is uh leave this one at it, it is just leave it as it, as it is just click install when you are installed it will find some files which you will need to overwrite it will complain that file now now as you can see just click select to override the file now it will not change all the file that is inside that we just upload now click install again we wait for our wordpress to 
now it has finished installation well, let me show let me go to the wp dashboard because of the ssl certificate that's why it showed this now after you've done this one now you will now go back to our uh new new uh hosting just go back to the home page of it and go to the database of it now go to this database now here on this wordpress we can go back to overview to check the database it used now where is by cargo trailer let me reload this page where is it um overview by cargo trailer now let me click, click this edit details Now it will show us the database issues, which is WP six nine four, WordPress six nine four. Now let's go back to our database here and check it so that we can update it with the one we export. Now we just come here. Where is my database here? PHP my admin. Right click and open new tab. Now the database is presently loading. Now WP six nine four. now when you this is the wp694 for our database now this is the, what you have to do now you have to check all then after you check all then you now select drop that means you want to delete it so now you click yes now it has been deleted so now the next thing you have to import the one we the one we download, we, the one we download last time, our old database. Now come to download. This is this is the SQL file. Then click on go. It is importing the database now it has fully successfully import the database now now um, let me refresh this dashboard you will see most of our posts we will export now sometimes it may it may want to uh, let, me, let me show you something let's wait for it now it wants me to lo log in again now in by cargo trailer i think the admin i use uh, let me quickly check something on users we p users to know the admin i use i think i use Al this email alima now come here and choose this alima um let me quickly check the history of my password um, I couldn't remember it again. Save password. Um, bike, bike cargo trailer. This Alima I use. I want it to show, to show me. Now, this is the password I use. Now copy it. Now paste. Let me log in. Now it has logged in successfully now. Now by now we have successfully if you check this post now you see all our posts for the previous post on the new hosting. Everything is working fine now. So um except we just go and fix this uh HTTP certificate now. Let me open the site on new tab. Let me check the posts. The post is still loading. Can you see the post? All everything is still fine. We didn't lose anything. Can you see? Now we have successfully move our site from one name chip hosting to another name chip hosting. This will be the end of our tutorial. If you are new to this channel, kindly click on subscribe button and also the bell notification account so as to get updates anytime I release new video. Thank you, thank you, thank you.